What's up, everybody? Jakey Crack Outdoors here. And uh, today is Saturday, March 28th, 2020. All right. Really getting running down on the season. There's only three checks left after this one, well, including this one, I guess. No, I got three. Um, I did move my sets around. I moved one of my 330s yesterday. That's all I really moved. I, I just moved the 330. So I'm hoping that pays off. Um, it's poured all night. And uh, we got a little break in the action. And I'm trying to run out here before it starts pouring again. So it's going to be one of those days where I'm just struggling to get content. So hope everybody's enjoying. And uh, I'll get back to you when I get at the pond. Just about at the pond. Uh, like I said, it's it's not the best day, and it's definitely not going to be the best day. I mean, they're calling for rain through Monday, and I noticed the creek I crossed coming in here is pretty up already. So I'm expecting a lot of stuff to be flooded out here over the next day or so. What? Well, let's see what happened. Maybe uh, maybe the rain helped me here. I don't know. You know, I'm almost happy with what I caught here. So I really, anything other than that's a bonus. But I think this might be new. I was worried about the water clarity. But, uh, it's still super clear even though we got all that rain. That caster mount's still there. Ooh. That's the 330 I moved yesterday. I just I moved that one set. It used to be there, I just moved it to here now. I think they're on to me, so I'm just trying to surprise them. Uh, beaver trapping is a little harder than a little thing you think you know what I mean it's especially trying to stay legal in Pennsylvania <coughs> the caster mine's trap still there See what we got out here. Nothing. Well, all I could do is wane them out. With three with three checks left. I don't think it's worth me changing nothing around. It don't pan out. It don't pan out. But like I always say. You know, there's days I don't look forward to this walk, but 
and once I'm standing right here it's all worth it so it's some good quality exercise I enjoy it uh, I really don't know what I'm gonna get into right now uh, it's gonna be a struggle for me to get some content up for tonight's video yesterday instead of uh, filming in the afternoon like I usually do I decided to uh, take a nap on the couch which was probably the worst idea because yes it was beautiful but I was pretty tired I needed some rest so I opted for the nap yesterday I could have I should have videotaped that you could have watched me nap I guess um, so we'll get into something today though I'll figure something out uh, I checked the radar again because I expected it to be starting to rain. We only had this little break and me and it ain't started raining yet. I'm sort of wondering, is it gonna hold off? Is it gonna, um, I don't know. I noticed the wind's bad for my cast lines. Yesterday I had a great wind and they were calling for a northeastern wind, which would put my scent right out over the, over the lake. But now I'm noticing a strong south wind, so uh, I don't know. I should have got the canoe out and went over and checked that little canal system out there because that goes right out to that hut. I don't know if you could see that hut right out there. There's a hut below that dam, and uh, there's that, and then there's that bank then that I think they're using. And I'm sure there's something over there in that bank. I mean, it's just I could see roots, I could see sticks, but. For me to get there i'd either have to i don't know i'm gonna try to get over there right now that's a good idea for when I get all right guys stay tuned i'm wondering if they got some eggs or something there some ducklings because she's being pretty mean i'm assuming that's a female chasing the male away but i could be wrong i don't know much about stuff like that What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna canoe across this upper pond and walk down from here. See what we got going on. If there's anywhere I can get some sense over there. Top rock build, yeah. Put man down right here. High probability man down. Should probably want a little further out before I can do. Definitely got some fresh chewings. Remember that's when I said that, that's my one spot. That was it. Let's go harass these geese a little bit and see. See if we can't mess all with them. If I get steer, man, that would be brutal. There's definitely, there's definitely more sign in here now. I don't know if I chased them from that bottom pond up to here. There they go. Yeah, but the sign in this pond now is uh, a way better sign than there was the other day, it seems like. Now that could be washed down from the upper pond or maybe beavers up in there. I don't know. <coughs> what I do know is I ain't caught nothing where I'm at. And, uh, I'm running out of days, so I'm going to try it here. There's where I would like to get a set. I don't know if I want to do this or not. I'm being real lazy right now. But I really feel like if I move, I could probably get a beaver or two. The question is, do I really want a beaver or two? 
but what else do I got to do? Hope you guys are enjoying this uh, thought process I'm playing out for you. I think I'm gonna move my two uh, two caster mines over here, and I'm gonna leave my uh, 330s over here. I think that's the plan. So, all right, guys, stay tuned. Let me get to this. All right, guys. So here I'm on the back side of the pond that I've been trapping, and uh, so far I got one caster mine set. I'm going to show you the finished product, and then I'm going to set this other one, and then I'll show you the finished product of that. But uh, they had a caster mine here already. Seems like they got some push-up started here. They're definitely feeding in here. And I got my caster mine right there and I fenced it in a little bit to make sure they came right up on that. Uh, as you can see, I got the dam right there and I got the hut right there. And then where I'm setting, if you could see through the trees, is over on that side. I still got my two, three, thirty conibears bears over there. Um, so that's one set. And then uh, let me get this other one going here and then I'll, I'll show you finished product of that. But, uh, this, the other set I'm going to do is there's also a caster mine. They sort of started there over on that side too. That I'm just going to I'm just going to set next to that one too. I don't know if I should be setting next to existing caster mines, but I'm figuring if they're coming up and putting a caster mine, then they get a, a scent of a different beaver up there. They're going to come explore it. So that's my theory. Uh, Judith, I'm sure you'll have some input on that. So let me know if I'm uh, if I'm doing the right path or if I should be moving my uh, caster mines away from existing caster mines. So. All right, let me uh, let me get this other set made, and then I'll get back to you. Uh, it's starting to drizzle a little bit. So far, the rain has held off on me, so that's been a plus. And uh, all right, guys, let me get to work, and I'll get back to you. All right, guys, so this is that caster mine that I said I was going to set on, and where I'm putting I'm gonna put my trap is right there next to that little jaw out on that bank, and uh, I'll try to use that as one side, and then I don't have to shake fence as much on this side, but. This is the other caster mine. And the other caster mine, I don't know if you can pick up that dam, but I'm about 20 yards on the other side of that dam. So, spacing them out. And uh, see if I can get you to hunt here. The hut is straight out there. I don't know if you can pick it up. It's kind of hard with the GoPro. Doesn't like to zoom in. And uh, just for reference, that, that pine tree and two pine trees over there is where my 330s are. So. Let me uh, let me get this set it and I'll get back to you. All right, guys. So this is the second of Casper Mines, and uh, I got my trap down there. It's a little deeper than I really like it, but I think it's offset enough that I'm looking for a back foot catch on that one. He's gonna put his back foot there as he tries to climb up there. So I've been told. I got my drinder out there. Got my caster mine set and what I did is I fenced off a little bit so they can't come up to this existing caster mine. I'm sort of funneling them right through where I need them to come through. Um, I really have a good feeling about both of these uh, these sets I just put in here today. Um, starting to rain a little harder. Uh, the geese are back out on the pond. They flew in here. It was a pretty nice, uh, got a really great view of them. Uh, this would be a nice spot for a blind. They come sort of fly right over me to get into our pond up there so um stay tuned uh make sure you like subscribe comment share all that all that stuff uh hopefully i'm bringing some kind of normalcy to everybody's lives so i know things are a little crazy right now so part of me doing the blog vlogs is uh you know i'm just trying to give someone that couple minute relief of what's going on right now and uh hopefully i'm doing that hopefully you guys are enjoying it uh, I'm enjoying it. It's keeping my mind. It's keeping my mind off of things and that's what's important. So um, Probably get a little footage crossing the pond here on the way out, but uh, Appreciate it everybody and stay tuned